first of all, don't come for my hoodie, sis. Don't do it because I know y'all going to be like, Renisha have that hoodie on all the time. This is my favorite hoodie. And until my hoodies come in, my hoodies, when my stuff on it, y'all going to see this hoodie. Because whenever I check the weather and it says Alaska, I said, okay, get dressed, toss on the hoodie. It don't even matter what you're wearing. Okay? So really quick, I have a prophetic word. First of all, hey. Hi, guys. My name is Renisha. Welcome to my space. This is not my space. Renisha's space. It's not my space, but it's Renisha's space. Don't come for me. Welcome to Renisha's space. Over here, I let others fight with the mic while I'm making social media in my pulpit. All I want to do is encourage you to be everything God has called you to be, even when others don't agree. It is 2020. Why are we still waiting on people to applaud us? Anyway, quick word. <coughs> and y'all know I'd be like, quick word, and then it don't be quick. But it's going to be a quick word because I got to go to work. Now, Holy Spirit dropped the word this morning. And I'm probably, today is ooh, December I think today is December 7th. It's a Monday. I'm probably going to wait and release this tomorrow. Um, but some of you, the, you're really about to step into another level of manifestation in 2021. And I know, I know, I know, trust me yesterday, and you're going to see it on the video that I have to release. It's in my phone, the introduction to Holy Spirit. It's going to be on my other channel. You're going to see where I talked about how yesterday I went off on God. I went, when I tell you I went off. I kind of spazzed out a little bit, but it's okay. We I feel way better today. I feel, I had to get it off my chest. You know, we can't be holding stuff in because he already be knowing how we feeling. So why are you fronting with him? So yeah, I went off on him in a respectful manner, but I went off. I went off. I went off, y'all. So um, I know a lot of y'all probably like, I'm tired. I don't want to hear it. That's what I was saying yesterday, but he gave me this word. So I'm going to release it to you because it's not my job to make you receive it. It's my job to release it. So I'm going to release it. You, Some of you are really going to come in some serious manifestation, even though 2021 is not going to be a bed of roses now. But some of you are really going to walk into some doors that the Lord has set up for you and you don't even realize it. OK, the word he gave me this morning is do not forget the Lord. When you and I have I'm going to read this scripture. And it's going to be a lot of reading, but y'all know I try to be entertaining while I read. You have, don't forget the Lord when this thing manifests. And some of y'all, the Lord give y'all some stuff. Y'all be, be praying, praying, praying. And then he does a thing and then you forget about him. You get so caught up in whatever you pray for that he manifested. Did you forget about, that you forget about him? I was thinking about somebody today. And I don't even want to get into it because I don't want them to see this and think I'm trying to, you know, throw shade. But I was like, this could be in anything. This could be in businesses, praying for businesses. The Lord meant opens doors, um, connections, like big connections. It could be money. It could be spouses. It could be children. It could be houses, car, just whatever you've been, jobs, positions, higher positions on jobs. When the Lord manifests this stuff. Do not forget about him because just as quick as he gave it, he can snatch it away. Let that sink in. Okay. So I'm going to read the scripture and I'm going to get off of here. And yes, I'm going to read it all because if I tell y'all to go read it. Deuteronomy. Turn your Bibles to Deuteronomy. Huh? Chapter 8. I'm going to read out of the King James Version. You choose the version that works best for you. Deuteronomy. That's not how you say it, okay? All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. And I really don't have to read all this, but I like this. <laughs> I like this book anyway, so I'm going to read it all. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what it was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Now, and I even plan on teaching. 
we know that this scripture was not specifically, it's not, it wasn't directly talking to us. It was talking to the children of Israel. However, can we just put ourselves in this scripture? Can we think about 2020 and then go back and say, hmm, wilderness, 2020, wilderness. It was to humble us and to prove us and to know what was in our hearts. A lot of people's hearts have been exposed this year because this year has been so a lot of people's hearts even towards god have been exposed their their true hearts there are people that have walked away from god this year because they saw all that was happening and there is absolutely no way there is no way this year could have happened and that there be a god or it could be you know other reasons but the testing of the hearts even when it came to relationships, a lot of that has happened this year. Okay. Would you, it says whether, uh, to, to humble thee, to prove thee, to know thee, what was in your heart, whether thou would keep his commandments. How many of us, because of the roughness of this year, we just said, you know what? Screw it. I can't, I can't do this. Pray for what? Fast for what? Read my Bible for what? I get it. We're human. You know, we're human. But I feel like that's a heart issue. Even on yesterday, when I was going off, and I went off. When I tell y'all I went off, I went off. And I was like, God, you've shown me X, Y, and Z. And I'm snapping like this. So this is really, you're exposing what's in my heart. Okay. Now let me read on because I ain't get on here to teach. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and feed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doeth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doeth man live. Thy raiment waxed old. Can I just, because this ring light is shining in my face, y'all, I got to be. <laughs> Let me put this up here just while I read it, okay? Um, Thy raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou... Okay. Foot didn't swell. You somehow your crow your clothes and your shoes growing with you, but okay. Thou shalt also consider provision. Even the manna was provision, but okay. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so that the Lord God chasten thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the like the Lord thy God bringeth into Bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not like anything in it, a land whose stones are iron and of dough and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten, when thou hast eaten, when this thing manifests, and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given thee. When this thing manifests, huh? When your prayers manifest and you start walking into a lot of this stuff heavy next year. I feel this heavy for some of you. I'm going to need you to praise him. Don't forget him. Praise him. Um, but, 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 but where am I? Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command these days. Don't the Lord is going to bring some of you all in, in front of some powerful people. Do not forget the Lord and start compromising your morals, your values and what the Lord has told you to do because of who you're in front of. Shout out to those that are called to Hollywood. Shout out to those that are going to be called to some CEOs and some business people that don't even believe in God. Don't forget the Lord. Okay, um, blah, 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 blah. lest when thou has eaten and are full and has bit, built goodly houses and dwelt therein and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up and thou forget the Lord thy God which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage who led thee through the great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water who brought thee forth water out of the rock of Flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with the manna provision, 
which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee. Some of this, some of you are going through so much and it's so heavy and it seems like it's never going to end, but it really is to humble you because God is about to manifest something. He's about to take you to a place that is so high. You cannot be prideful when you get there. You have got to be there with a humble heart. You have got to. And this is why for some of you, you have had to struggle so much. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. that he might prove thee and do the good at the latter end. And thou say in thine heart, my power and the might of mine hand have gotten me this wealth. When you get to where you're going, please don't take the credit for it. Huh? And this is even why the Lord had to disconnect you from some people, because if you would have stayed connected to them, they would have been able to say, oh, I put them on. Oh, they wouldn't have been nothing without me. No, 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 no. See, that's how that's why some had to walk away. But when you get there. Don't be like them now. Don't you? Oh, I did this. Oh, I. Mm, oh, you did. No, 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 no. It was the Lord. The Lord brought you there. Okay. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that has given thee power to get wealth. Let me, let me, let me rewind. Let me go back to 17. No, let me go back to. Yeah. And thou say, when you get to this place, don't say in your heart, my power and the might of mine hand has gotten me this wealth. But remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou do all, do at all, forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods. You know, you get where the Lord, um, you've been praying to get and the Lord starts manifesting this stuff. These doors start opening. And you decide you want to forget him and you start to idolize that thing, whether it be money, whether it be business, whether it be status, position, huh? whether it be the husband, the wife, the children. If you decide that you want to make that an idol, OK. Um, if thou do at all, forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which the Lord destroyed before your face, so shall ye perish, because you will not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Listen, I'm done. That's the word he gave me on this good old Monday for you. Don't forget him. And if you do, you're going to perish. And that doesn't mean you're going to physically die. Okay. Some people do. That doesn't mean you're going to physically die, but just you can have it. You can be up today and down tomorrow, baby. Don't get so cocky. Don't try to take the credit. Oh, I did this. Oh, I, it's because I have this degree and I have. It is he that has given you power. Okay. To get the wealth. Don't forget the Lord. Give the glory to him. Always redirect the glory back to him. Yes, he used you to do this. But baby, my hope is built on nothing less. Then Jesus blood, huh? And righteousness. I dare not trust. The sweetest frame. I'm really, I'm going to find me a pink microphone. But holy lean, it's going to be a fake one though. On Jesus name. Let me tell you something. It is Holy Spirit. It is God. That is going to manifest this stuff. Okay. Don't take the credit for it. Don't forget about him. I'm sorry. I'm looking that way and I'm supposed to be looking that way. Don't forget about him for real. You all. And some of this stuff is so big. I was talking to, was it yesterday? When I was talking to Rhonda or the day before, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. I think it was the day before. And we were talking about this. I'm telling you some of it is so big. What is the scripture? That says, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. That's the kind of blessing some of y'all are about to walk into. That even if the Lord sat you down, <laughs> if he came in your room, sat you down and said, okay, this is what I'm about to do. If he laid it out in front of you, you'd be like, mm -mm, this is spirit. This ain't, <laughs> this is not God. Mm -mm, mm -mm, a demon trying to trick me. I'm telling you all. But just come back and testify when it happens, okay? So I have to go to work. Hiccup, sorry. I have to go to work, so I'm going to talk to y'all later, okay? 
Okay guys, so thank you for making it to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel and please hit your notification bells okay because in my analytics it says like 22 percent of my people have their notification bells on so make sure you hit the bell so that you know when i drop a video also check out my second channel the resuscitation station um if you love the word that channel is dedicated just to the word of god i'm going to be doing bible studies and i do scriptures every day we read the bible together so make sure you check out that channel the description is in um, my description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on my social media. Everything is down below. Periscope, IG, TikTok, Facebook. I don't be on IG like that. My blog, which I need to get back to blogging. But make sure you follow me on those platforms. If you want to send prayer requests, my email is also down in the description box, you all. If you want to purchase my book that I never talk about. Mantle for Manifestation. If you want to purchase my book, it's a book about prayer and fasting. I literally take y'all each day. I give you the scripture. I give you a short blurb. And then I, you just pray the prayer that I have in the book, you all. It's all here. If you struggle with fasting, if you don't know how to fast, get this book from Amazon. I'm telling you, it is lit. Okay. Read the reviews on Amazon. Also, if you desire to sow into this ministry, I have PayPal, I have Cash App, and I have Venmo. I just um so yeah, if you want to sow into this ministry, that's in the description box also. And that is it. So thank you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye, y'all.